Peeps, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode, the first one of 2017, which probably means we should be taking a look over at the setup game. This video will kind of serve two purposes. I'm kind of in a transition right now, switching studios, but wanted to bring you guys my current setup and maybe my last video, probably not my last video in this room, but one of my last ones before we make shift and bring you guys a sweet surprise my next studio, which I'll be making a separate video about, so make sure you stay posted for that one. We've had a couple little upgrades to the studio since my last video on my entire desk setup. I'll be linking all of the items, of course, down below in the description. Let me know what I can make improvements on, and just as a little heads up, I decided not to include my new 2017 MacBook, as that will be the centerpiece for the next studio. So let's get right into this guy, right here. So the first thing we'll actually talk about is the actual desk itself, and it's a bit of an IKEA hack. It's actually a kitchen countertop that sits on top of two Alex drawers. I think the total setup costs me around 150 bucks. I'll leave that link down below, of course. In the middle of that is the actual chair that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's the Herman Miller M-Body, probably one of the priciest chairs that you can get, but if you sit in the sky as much as I do, I think having a good chair is super important for the health of your spine. That's pretty important. And what sits on top is my main editing rig, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's the 5K 27-inch iMac late 2014 model. This thing crushes 4K like a beast. Combine this with Final Cut Pro. I haven't had any issues. I'm just planning to upgrade the RAM now from 16 gigs to 32. I think it costs maybe an extra 150 bucks for that upgrade now that it's a bit older. It's been slowing down slightly, but still chews through all of my footage without any problem. Slightly raised on a just mobile stand. And I think this ties in perfectly to the sponsor of this video, and when they reached out, I thought this would be the dopest collab that would not only help out you guys, it's a site called Skillshare, which essentially has online videos, how-tos of how to do things like making YouTube videos, how to edit video, how to edit sound, how to do photography, a ton of different online courses, which I honestly think could benefit you all. If you're interested in starting out your very own YouTube career, stay posted till the end for more details. The next little addition on my desk was actually a gift to myself, which I bought for reaching 200,000 subs on the channel. It is a Porsche GT3 RS, my favorite colorway of Porsche, my current favorite car, couple that with Lego. I thought this was a no-brainer, kind of sits off to the side, of course orange. Right behind that is actually what flanks my iMac, and these are the Yamaha HS7 speakers, the perfect studio monitors for any setup. I think the colorway is dope. All white everything fits perfectly into my setup, and I can monitor my sound well. That's how good they are. I've had them for two, almost three years now, and once again, no issues. On the left-hand side of my HS7 is the Apogee One audio interface. Once again, a simple piece of kit and it powers all of the audio in the studio. Underneath that is the Blue Lounge storage solution, perfect for hiding all of your cables. On the other side of that, on the right-hand side, is where all of my storage actually sits. This is the CalDigit T44 Bay hard drive. It stores four one terabyte hard drives, individual, and maybe every five to six months, I like to back up all of my data. And the next little guy, also a product from CalDigit. This is the Tough Case, and why I love them is also the solid build quality of aluminum wrapped in orange, which is my favorite. This is actually connected via one USB-C cable, so this is hinting what you'll see, the perfect pairing for the 2016 MacBook Pro. Peripherals for my iMac, I think you see the entire theme that I'm going with here, super, super simple. We've just got the standard trackpad from Apple, wireless keyboard, both the same, came with my 5K iMac. The mouse is the Logitech MX Master, I've had this also for two years, have had no issues, pairs perfectly via Bluetooth, and I can swap this between my 5K iMac and my MacBook Pro with just one press on the back. And now with something which I actually just got this Christmas as well, this is the VinSync oil diffuser. I think it adds a nice little touch of wood, the actual ring around glows in a bunch of different colors, obviously I've got mine set up for orange, and it essentially diffuses oil and makes your room smell nice. Very useful if you're in here for five to six hours at a time. And now we'll wrap things up with the rest of the desk accessories. On my left HS7, we've got the Orange Squad Charizard Android 
plastic figurine that someone made for me. Underneath my 5K iMac, I have got Megatron flanked by two Star Wars Lego Troopers. I think that's pretty dope and it keeps things very custom. On the left hand side are usually the two smartphones that I'm using slash reviewing. The first, of course, my daily driver, the iPhone 7 Plus in the matte black colorway. The second phone that I'm using is the Google Pixel XL, naturally the best of iPhone and Android, in my opinion. And last off, my notebooks to jot down any notes that I might have, not even gonna try to pronounce the name, I'll leave them linked down below. And maybe the number one question that is asked, what is sitting in my background? And that is actually a longboard, a loaded dervish, not a boosted board. This guy came before, once again, hints of orange all throughout just to make it my own. And getting back to Skillshare, our sponsor of this video, I think this is such a dope collab this time around as it's the beginning of the year 2017, you can have a very fresh start creating your very own YouTube channel, anything creative in general. They've got over 13,000 videos that you can check out, classes that you can take, whether it's videography, photography, gaming, tech, you name it, they've probably got it over on their site. It's normally around eight bucks a month, but I've got a promo code, just my name, Carl Conrad. You can sign up for three months for only 99 cents. So I think that's a no brainer just to try out if you're interested. And I hope to see some of you over on YouTube, some sort of social platform, because I get maybe five to 10 messages a day on how to start or giving advice to starting your very own YouTube channel. I think this is the perfect place to start. Not to mention you can grab Grab it both for your iPhone or Android, and I think that's a huge plus. So definitely thumbs up in my books, links will be of course down below in the description. All right, I think that will pretty much wrap up this entire video of my 2017 desk setup. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. Cannot wait to share my brand new desk setup, studio setup, as this year gets rolling. I'm aiming for mid to late January, so make sure you stay posted to the channel. If you have any other comments or suggestions, once again, link me down below and I will hopefully catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or in one of my vlogs. Peace.